touch me, touch me, touch me. I like the way she fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. drop, hit it, hit it, hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Drop. What's good, good radio YouTube? Too? This your boy CJ. And this your girl Rena. Make sure y'all subscribe CJ and Rena. I already know today is reaction video on Eric Sprinter? What? No. Eris Spears. Close enough. White families versus black families. Clamalace, you said. Now you messing me up. <laughs> All right, guys. If y'all didn't get the name, I know y'all saw it at the bottom. I don't know if I said it right. Did you say it again? Say what again? The name. White families. Birthday. No, my name. Aries Spears. Oh, Spears. Oh, you didn't say I said I said Spinners. You. I don't know what you said on your own. Okay, Aries Spears. I said it again. There it is. All right, guys. Don't forget to donate below and also. I know y'all ready. Cause I'm ready. You ready? I'm ready. Let's get it. I'm actually on a mission, man. You know, like I don't even think comedy is my calling in life. I think I'm meant for something greater. Like I had a vision the other night. It came to me. I think my mission in life is to help white people. <laughs> what? Like really, I want to feel comfortable enough to walk in your house unannounced. Wow. At three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> Just wake you up and go come with me. <laughs> Like comics, we don't do shit when we're on the road except stay in a hotel room and watch TV. And I'm flipping through some of the stations and I'm watching these programs like Oprah and Phil. And I'm seeing some of y'all's kids is out of fucking control. I really want to ask white people, I've always been curious. Why don't y'all just beat your kids, man? Yeah. Beat them, whoop they motherfucking ass. Y'all give y'all kids all kind of timeouts and special places. Yeah. The fuck is a special place? To a black child, that's a coma. What is a special place? Ah! Black kids don't know shit about time out. We know about getting knocked the fuck out. That's it. My mother used to slap the shit out of me in public, and I would look at people for help. <laughs> like, shut up. <gasps> White people felt my pain. Oh my God. She just struck her child. Black people see black kids get hit. We be like, hey. <laughs> get your shit together. Get your shit together. Yeah. Black people will beat other people's kids if they fucking up too bad. Like, miss, you need to whoop this ugly motherfucker. Whoop that shit down. Get to my website, email, home address, call me. I'll fuck him up in a damn you need. Uh, you ain't got to kill him. Just watch him turn red. Just put this up. <laughs> Just choke him out. You know what I found out growing up? Totally shocked me. White kids are just as shocked to find out black kids don't talk back to their parents. Because uh. we are we here and talk back to theirs. So I used to have a little buddy would come over to my house on the weekends, little Nate. We'd be in my room playing video games. One of them used to come in the room on us, cuss me out for no reason. Just scare the shit out of both of them. Yeah. We'd be in the room playing Mario Brothers. She'd come kick open the door like SWAT. <laughs> We'd be on level four. She'd Harry, how many times I told you to clean this motherfucking room? Cut that goddamn game off and clean this room. I come back, this motherfucking room ain't clean. I'm gonna take that Nintendo cord, wrap it around your neck, and stick it in your ass. Nigga, I ain't playing with you. This ain't no threat. This is a promise. Try me, motherfucker. Try me. Yeah. Yeah. My white friend would turn to me offended, like, dude, what the fuck? <laughs> she can't do that, man. This is your space. This is your area. <laughs> She's violating your right to privacy. <laughs> you should say something. You want me to go say something? <laughs> I'd be so scared. I start talking to him like a slave from Roots. Like, he's gonna get me in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> I like you, Nate. I really do. And my parents is good black folk. They give me food. Yeah. They give me sleeps. You get away from around here with that foolishness. <laughs> Go get from here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> My mother smacked the shit out of the white boy. He turned into me. Wait in the world. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> My mother was a champ at whooping ass, too, man. She had a gold belt and everything. What? I remember one time I stole a bike and she had to leave her job to get me out of jail. Uh-oh. You know, you grew up in a single parent household with a black woman and she got to leave work to get you out? <laughs> I knew I was going to that special place. <laughs> I knew the ass woman was serious because when we got home, she took her work clothes off and put on a jogging suit and headband. Oh. 
Like, what kind of ass whooping is that you prepared to sweat? E she had to stop watching a bottle of Gatorade with the belt. I said, at some point, this bitch is fitting to refuel on this ass whooping. I to get his ass. I think my mother took special joy out of fucking me up, too, man. She came up with unconventional methods of whooping ass. Shit that I knew far exceeded normal and necessary. Like, I remember one time she woke me up out of my sleep at 3 o'clock in the morning. You know, you've been woken up out of your sleep. You know, when that light hits you, it takes you a second to get your shit together. You be <laughs> discombobulated. And I'm eight. She came in, kicked the side of the bed. Pfft, nigga, get the fuck up. <laughs> you thought I forgot about that shit you did earlier. You gonna go and get suspended from that private school where I make all that money and work two hard jobs and you gonna get suspended by telling the teacher to suck your dick? Ooh. Here, put this on. And she threw some boxing headgear at me. You know that leather helmet boxers be wearing for practice fights? I'm like, Mom, why I'm putting on boxing headgear? She said, because I'm gonna hit you in the head with a pipe and I don't want to kill you. Because <laughs> you my baby, I love you. <laughs> Hey, that's like some real true stuff. I'm not saying my parent did that to me. I don't know about you. Did your mom? No. no, no. I, hey, hey. Hey, but it seemed like some true stuff that a parent would do. Would do. Guys, I like that. Uh, it seemed like ghetto parents would do that. Not everybody ghetto got to be ghetto. Uh, you don't know. You Violence know. is not the answer. You don't know that. We are you having a baby. Your kid. We're having a baby and he giving me ideals. Just kidding. Don't think that, no, guys. No, because I, what makes me mad the most is when people whoop little bitty babies for crying like they know any better. And that just it irritates my soul. Why well, have a child if you're just going to beat them? Nobody's going to whoop my child. Not until the child gets at least five. Then we're going to whoop them. I'm going to whoop them. For piss. They still don't know no better. Five? Yes. You crazy? My little sister's five. They know enough. They act like they're grown. And I'm gonna start eating it. All right. Anyways, you am I lying? That's what I thought. Anyways, guys, anything else you have to say? All right, guys, don't forget to comment below. Also, check this video out below, and also donate below. And you all subscribe to CJ Arena. Like always, guys. Peace. Bye. I like the way she touch me, touch me, touch me, touch me. I like the way she fuck me, fuck me, fuck me, fuck me. Hit it, hit it, hit it, drop. Hit it, hit it, hit it.